Welcome to an Empire 70 Co. production. We are recording out of Studio One at the University of Lethbridge, proudly on Blackfoot territory. The day is January 5th, 2019. I'm Colton Van Horn, and this is Young Howard.
<laughs> Fantastic <laughs> job, guys. That was sick. I'm your voice in the corner, Colton Van Horn, and let's take a little bit of a roll call here going around the room. I'm Zach. Do you have a last name, Zach? <laughs> I have a last name. It is uh, McQueen. Zach McQueen. Zach McQueen. And my name is Danson DeRosier. Craig Gomez. And I'm Colin Langstrat. <laughs> it's great to meet you all. And I hear that you're all graduates of the uh, Red Deer College music program. Is that all correct that I've got on my sheet of paper? Couple graduates. <laughs> couple graduates. <laughs> couple <laughs> college college dropout. dropout. I went there, yeah. but I didn't exactly graduate. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, yeah, that's where we all met for the most part. And yeah, nice. So yeah. that's kind of where the, the band formed as well, is at the, the college. Yes, Definitely. I would say. Yeah. What's your biggest takeaway from that whole experience? Uh, being drop out, drop in, all of the above. <laughs> School is awesome. Yeah, and you should show up. I mean, I think the biggest thing we learned from going to music school was learning how to communicate as musicians mm. instead of uh, just trying to throw things together. We were able to learn the language and meet amazing people like all these guys here. And uh, yeah, so connections and language. I would say. <laughs> nice. Insane. Learn all the lingo. Yeah. 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 Definitely Fantastic. the biggest part for is, yeah, communication. Because before we all went to school, it was like, it would take us, you know, months to like hammer out a song versus now you can just talk to each other. It takes, you know, a day. A day. Yeah. Which yeah. is sweet. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So what are you guys going to play for us next? You got a couple of them coming up. We got uh, the next song we're going to play is called Give It Up. And then the one after that is called So Far Away. Sweet, let's hear it. All right.
But it's enough to get by Whatever you want, I got Whatever you need, I got And hold on, no I can't hold on Whatever they want, I'll fight Whatever they say, it's alright Wicked jam, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we, uh, I did a little bit of internet research, uh, checking your guys' brand new uh, EP out that's uh, called Somewhere I Belong, and absolutely love it. It's got a great sound to it. What really inspired you to get behind uh, this EP? What was the main drive? The love of making music. <laughs> um, I mean, and uh, the, I guess the themes kind of come from a little bit of soul searching, Mm -hmm. um, self-discovery, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's kind of just mostly about where we're at in our lives right now and kind of had a nice ring to it, so that's kind of why we gave it that name. And and yeah, the album just kind of came together. All of our favorite songs just had a nice uh, flow throughout the, the five songs that we picked. So Awesome. And yeah. what kind of soul-searching did you guys all do? Um, well... <laughs> I think it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. Craig spent a couple of years in Toronto. Yeah, I was out there, there and hanging out, trying to do the music thing, and yeah, just decided that you know it was better back here than it was. <laughs> like it was great. It was like don't get me wrong. I live in Toronto. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. My girlfriend still lives there, so I really loved it there. Um, but I just yeah, there was a lot of opportunities back home that I um, took for granted, I guess. And so moving back was definitely the. <laughs> the way to go. Yeah. Then I met these guys <laughs> again. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So I know as like I, I used to act way back in high school and we'd always have some sort of weird tradition that you do before you go up on stage, kind of like a pregame, I don't know, Greek yogurt that is like heated up to a certain temperature. I have no idea. <laughs> Whoa. But I'm a certain I'm sure that you is guys never have your, a good idea your pre game, right? <laughs> <laughs> pre game. Vocal warm-ups? Like we do vocal, vocal warm-ups warm yeah. quite often. We, uh, we try to make outside sure. of a venue, we'll all pile in uh, in a car or a, a small SUV and <laughs> listen to like like a book on tape of like a vocal warm-up and uh, <laughs> do that. And then we put on a hype track like um, "Y'all Gonna Make Me Lose My Mind," <laughs> and then we just get really psyched. Yeah. And then down with the sickness. Down with the sickness <laughs> is a good one good too. One. Just uh, something really. And we, and we try to keep each other as little enamored as possible before the set. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Yeah, exactly. So then what's your post game? What do you guys usually try to do right after a show, right after um, you walk off that stage? Load out. <laughs> <laughs> well, heads down, don't even say anything to each other, just um, load on out. Usually there's like, you, we did good. 
Good yeah. job, guys. Like, I've got to give everybody props. If yeah. I mean, I feel like we always end up doing that. And well, I and we try, to, we try to be as professional and helpful as possible. So we do yeah. get ourselves off the stage as fast as we can. <laughs> we get someone straight to merch to talk to anyone who wants to come say hey. And then, yeah, we load everything out so there's more space. And then, yeah, we just have a couple of drinks, celebrate, and enjoy life. If we play with a really cool band, we like to try and get our picture with them. Yes. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, like, And they're usually always super stoked. Yeah, we have a really have good that, one so. with uh, Five Alarm Funk, which is quite fun. So. Yeah, <laughs> those guys are pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And what do you got for our, our last song today? Um, well, this next one's called Home. It's the single off the EP. And uh, it's kind of just about uh, surrounding yourself with people who make you feel at home no matter where you are. Wicked. Let's hear it. It seems I've lost this time Now I can't hold my tongue Now you got me wishing You as nothing of me Is there something I am missing? I keep asking myself When will the skies turn gray? Well now I know just what I need to say I don't care where you are Just keep me by your side Gorgeous tune, guys. And I guess my, my last question is, how do you guys feel about being uh, recently nominated for the Red Deer Entertainment Awards as the new group slash artist of the year? It's exciting. Yeah. Cool. Great honor. <laughs> um, Red Deer. Red so Deer many has, good musicians, yeah. yeah so yeah. many good. It's such a deep, uh, rich music scene there. And... Uh, yeah, we're just so happy to be a part of it. And uh, there's so many other people who are nominated for awards. And we're really lucky that we have this place called Bo's Bar and Grill there. They're uh, really good to us. They bring in mm. all my favorite Canadian bands, <laughs> and I get to go watch them. And, you know, it's just like it's the best. Play with it's right in, yeah, sometimes yeah. play with them. Yeah, it's great. So, uh, yeah, we're really lucky to be from Red Deer and 
really love the music scene there, so. So pumped, guys. It's going to be great. Download Young Howler. I uh, believe it's on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, the works. where you buy your music. <laughs> Enjoy. We also have CDs. <laughs> <laughs> and if you still have a CD player, you know, collecting dust somewhere, we yes. do do the CDs as well. We were going to do the 8-track, but it was just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wax cylinder. Anyways, this one's called Get It Right. It's a waste. I'm just a stun on the 
Told you my headphones would fall off eventually. I wasn't sure if you did that on purpose. I was no. like, does it sound better? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Call it. Maybe I sang in tune. We'll see.